Hi, who am I here with? Hi, my name is Jen Seafield. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have you had any dogs before? Um, I've actually owned two dogs prior to my current dog. My first dog was a yellow lab, Murphy. He was a lover. He lived about 14 years. Uh, my second dog I adopted, his name was Augie, and he was not a lover. He was all about food and squirrels. So um, my third dog, I actually got another yellow lab because I missed the love that labs gave their owners. Uh, what would you say you might have learned from having these dogs before? Uh, learned from dogs, it's a huge responsibility. You can't go on vacation. You have to plan them into your family plan. Um, constantly caring for them and knowing that they are like a baby, like a child, and they need a lot of care. And do you have any possible future ideas of health problems that he might get? That might not be yes. like, according to the breed or anything. Yes. So in addition to watching his weight, I know for his health, we also need to watch what he does pretty much every minute of his life. He needs constant supervision. He's eaten um, an adult athletic sock already. He's like a goat. He literally will eat anything. So um, as he's gaining independence in the yard, really just making sure the yard is maintained, keeping an eye on him and making sure he doesn't eat foreign objects, that would lead to like massive insurance vet bills, which we want to avoid. <laughs> All right, and one last question. Do you think Bumper's happy? <laughs> <laughs> I think Bumper lives a very spoiled life. I think he's very happy. I could see it in his eyes, his smile, his tail, his... His walk, I think he is definitely happy. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. That's great. Who am I here with? Mark Troller. All right. Have you had any dogs before? Yes. I've had three of my own and two when I was a child. Well, I've learned you got to be selfless. You're caring for something other than yourself. Uh, and you can't just make plans and go out and do whatever you want when you want. You have to make sure that your pets are cared for, that they're fed, that they've gone outside, they've got their exercise, and that they're being taken care of. Uh, maybe you wish I would have walked them more. Uh, having two dogs together, they were very difficult to take outside on a leash. Uh, one tried to be dominant and always got in front of the other and they would tangle their leashes and so um, they got their exercise from playing together and going out in our yard but I think they, they really uh, missed out on getting more of the uh, um, being introduced to the neighborhood and being socialized more with the neighbors and on the street so yeah I wish we took them for longer walks more often. I, I think they're very lucky and fortunate and happy Buddy, you know, we got him from, uh, he was a foster, and when we found him, he, you could see every bone and vertebrae within his body and every rib in his rib cage. Uh, he was starving, and uh, when we first fed him, you would think the poor dog never ate before. And for the first few weeks, he was very, uh, uh, not aggressive, but he was very excited when he ate, and, uh, Eventually, after a few weeks, he learned he could actually walk away from a full bowl of food if he wasn't hungry. He knew he was going to get another meal, and I think that made him very content and happy. And at least we felt that we changed his life. So, yeah, I would have to say they're they're pretty happy. <laughs> As they go through age, just just remember, uh, is. You age, they're aging. As your muscles start to hurt, theirs are hurting. As you need more rest, they need more rest. Uh, you're aging together. So, so just remember that when you need to do things to compensate for your own aging, you gotta do the same things for your dogs. You know, they can't get around like they used to. They can't get into my car like they used to. We've had to make some accommodations. I got them a little ramp now. I bought a new truck that actually has a folding up back seat and they fit inside it perfectly for going for rides. Uh, we make things as easy for them as possible so that they can be as comfortable and happy in their old age. Awesome. Thank you very much, right. Mr. Mark Troller. You're welcome.